My body is a tool. I am a tool. <laughs> when an actor gets hurt or killed, that's never a good situation. I know he show up eventually. First of all, very sad. Second of all, there's a lot of paperwork involved. <laughs> that's where people like me come in. No, I won't fill out the form saying an actor broke their neck trying to jump over a bus. I'll jump over the bus for them. You're probably wondering about my credentials. My name is Chuck Fluster. And well, maybe you've heard of a little movie called John Wick 3 Parabellum starring Keanu Reeves. Did I do any of the stunt work on that movie? No, but I know pretty much how they did all of it. So let's get started. Hoo-ah! So has he done stunts on any movie? <laughs> The essence of this job is to make sure that actors don't get hurt. That's got to be your number one goal as a stunt person. We're very much like doctors in a way, you know? We save lives. Except, instead of prescribing medicine, we do backflips while dressed like them <laughs> so they don't snap their spinal cords. Can you do a backflip? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm a stuntman. You need to be physically prepared for anything. Oh, you want me to show you? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean... <laughs> in the field ah, of you know, like, I don't, I don't think I can do it here. You can go outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The, the cars here are like, they're doing this wind tunnel type of thing. That it's... <laughs> no, you know what? It, it's like this entire neighborhood has like a network of wind tunnels. <laughs> I'm going to film myself doing a backflip. Then I'm going to send it to you guys mm. and, and you can edit it and just like here. <laughs> 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 Your body needs to be a fine-tuned okay. machine. Okay. On a typical yeah, that day, makes sense. I do about 40 to 60 minutes of groin stretches to start. The groin is the core of the body. This is the core, the core of the body. <laughs> Even if that's not accurate, I mean, nothing bad ever came from having a loose groin. Have you ever heard someone say, "Oh man, I wish my groin was tighter." <laughs> <laughs> the thing about stunt work is that you need to be ready for anything. <laughs> because you never know what kind of role Hollywood's going to okay. throw your way. Maybe you'll be playing a wrestler. You should practice some tumbles daily just in case. Just in case. Maybe you'll play one of the monkeys in a Planet of the Apes movie. Make sure your ape walk is nice and fresh. <laughs> Maybe it's a movie where the monkeys from Planet of the Apes wrestle each other. You'll need some kind of ape walk tumble hybrid there. <laughs> Big name actors typically seem to work with the same stunt double over and over. Right. If you can get hired as a famous actor stuntman, you'll get work anytime they book a movie. For example, I've identified Tom Cruise as a potential target, and I'm going all in. I know you might be saying, doesn't Tom Cruise do all of his own stunts? Right. There for is now, that. Yes, but he can't do his own stunts forever, right? I've been sending some emails to tomcruise at gmail.com. <laughs> there's a pretty good chance that that's his email. I mean, who else would have signed up for that address, right? I mean, I got an answer back right. asking for my social security number to verify that it's actually me. <laughs> and now that I've sent that over, I mean, I could get hired any day now. It's a waiting game, really. <sighs> Chuck, 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 wait, Chuck Fluster, right? Chuck. You dummy. Things you need to get used to in this industry. Sure, there's all the physical stuff, but also the mental stuff, especially dealing with lack of recognition. Stunt people are super <laughs> important to the movie industry, and yet there's no stunt category at the Oscars. But unfortunately, the Academy has a pretty good counter argument where they're like, no. So it's kind of <laughs> hard to argue with that. Also, more and more, studios try to fully replace stunt work with CGI models, but people have a pretty good eye for that. They can always tell what's real and what's not. I remember seeing Dwayne Johnson as the Scorpion King in The Mummy Returns mm. and thinking, you know, I can really tell that's not him. The problem with VFX is that they never get the physics exactly right. So unless they figure that out, meh, I feel pretty safe. My advice is to change your mindset when it comes to recognition. We don't need awards. You know why? Our scars are our trophies. You see that? 
I wear that with pride. And some people say that stunt performers are the unsung heroes nothing. of Hollywood. <laughs> Bull! I'm perfectly capable of singing. Baby, I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the, the best track on Batman Ooh, Fever. No. Batman Forever. My Sorry. Pleasure, my pain. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you should be ready to tackle the world of stunts. Good luck. <laughs> felt great. He's you singing the whole song. Great. Yeah. So if you could make sure this gets to Tom Cruise, that would be a big help. I mean, I really think this is going to impress him. Uh, we don't have any way of contacting Tom Cruise. <laughs> you don't? Well, then what was this all for? <sighs> <laughs> Samuel Brisson finally got them all in there. <laughs> all right, so not, not the best, not the best. Uh, I knew Samuel Brisson would show up at some point. Samuel Brisson. We have Brandon Calder in the sound effect one. Obviously, Ryan George has done a bunch of these, so I knew Samuel would show up at some point. Sammy, Sam, what does he go by? Sam or Sammy? Samuel Brisson uh, as Chuck Fluster. So far, and I'm sorry to say this, lowest tier character so far uh, of all the ones that we've gotten. Normantula McMahon might be the best one. Was the Normantula McMahon? Was that the one? Was that the last name? Best name so far, I think. Uh, but yeah, this was just, it was okay. It had some funny parts, but uh, not as hilarious as some of the others. I knew they'd do a stuntman version at some point as far as a pro tip, which makes sense. Uh, but I feel like there was some more comedy there that could have been I don't know, had, but uh, it was okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The Stuntman tutorial, Pro Tips by Pitch Meeting. We got it again, but again, for me, eh. Let me know your thoughts though, on what you thought of this tutorial. Big shout out to my hyper crew, Brian Tidwell, Steve O, Slepnir, K6013, Dash Milner, and Daniel Lopez. Thank you guys so much for being a part of that crew. I truly, truly appreciate it. To all my members and my subscribers, thanks so much for supporting the channel in any way that you do, whether it's supporting the channel monetarily or hitting that subscribe button. It goes a long way because it helps to, to grow the channel and it helps me know what you guys like to see. Before you go though, hit that like button, smash it. Let's know what you guys want to see more of and it helps the channel grow. You can also check out the most popular videos on the channel right over here. And you can see our most recent reaction right up there as well. If you've seen all that, I'll see you guys in the comments. We'll talk about this.